welcome to South Florida saltwater fishing. I'm Heath, and it's time to get into the bite. Dolphin in the boat. Oh my God. Woo! Double in. Solo two fish trip right there. That mutton snapper right there, baby. Rigging up, and we're heading towards the inlet. We're gonna head offshore to the fishing grounds, have some fun doing some trolling. And more specifically, we're gonna be doing it with a no alibi white trolling feather. Before we get into this though, if you wanna learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. All right, folks, it's a beautiful morning. Very slight breeze from the south. Excellent fishing conditions. You know what that means. We'll see you out on the water. All right, folks, so we ran out of Boca Raton this morning. We are way offshore. We headed out about 20 miles. We are in an area of the ocean I like to call the canyons. It's about halfway between southeast florida and bimini uh, what it is is the seabed is around 1400 feet deep and then you have these large mountainous humps that rise up between you know two and six hundred feet up to you know about 800 feet from the seabed thus you know hopefully harboring fish so what we're going to fish with today is this lure this is a no alibi trolling feather so what we've got them rigged up on is 150 pound monofilament and double 80 tandem hooks. The setups that we're gonna be using are medium trolling gear. Penn Spin Fisher 8500 spooled with 20 pound smoke blue Mamoy monofilament on a seven foot star rod from the Paraflex series. All this is in the 15 to 30 pound class. This rod is a uh, light to medium action. We need some uh, shock absorbency if we get into the bite. And our other setup is this. It's a Penn International 12H, old school reel, spooled with 20 pound pink Andy monofilament. And again, the same lure, a two ounce no alibi trolling feather. Double hook tandem setup, 80 hooks. All right, so we're gonna get right to, uh, we're gonna try and uh, make the most of the time that we got out west heading towards us over the Bahamas. We got a storm. It happens out here during the summertime and uh, you know, you got to take advantage of your opportunities, especially when you've headed 20 miles out. We're in search of big pelagics, hopefully mahi-mahi. So we're going to get up to speed and uh, let these lines out and see what we can find. So, Let that out about 100, 150 feet. And then we're going to dip in the, uh, the short line which will be our spinning reel. Again, all this gear that we're using is 15 to 30 pound class. We're not looking for monster fish. We're looking to have some fun with some nice size plate. These no alibi feathers will hook you into everything. Over from the shallows of the reef, out the way out deep here. All right. 12 inches up and rolling. We're gonna cut into it. Again, we're trolling solo. Single small boat. Cut in that lure, get that line kicked out that way, and we'll start letting that line on the 8500, the spinner reel. We're in an area where there are large humps out here. This is sword fishing territory, big game stuff. We got our spinner out. Good to go. All right, we are up and rolling. We got the 12H, the long line. Set out about 150 feet or so. And we got the short line, Penn Spin Fisher 8500. That's set out about, you know, 75 to 100 feet. We're not going crazy. We want to see if we can uh, prospect around, get into the bite before the storms roll in, of course. We're out in a well over a thousand feet, close to 1400 right now. You know, just kind of traveling around, see if we can uh, find some fish, doing some blind trolling. They hang out over here without any sort of top water life forms. 
you know, no, doesn't need to be boards, doesn't need to be seaweed. You don't even need to see them on top or be marking them on your fish finder. They will come up and hit simply because of the ground that is way down there and the life that it is harboring in those areas. Just got hooked up with a mahi mahi. I see him jump out there. Woohoo! That's what we're talking about. Good spot to be on the white alibi trolling feather. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing like running out 20 miles and hooking into your targeted species. And get them up to the boat, hopefully, with any luck. Like I said, this is the canyon, this is sword fishing territory. Hooked him on the Penn Spin Fisher 8500. Great little trolling reel. Good deal. Here he comes. Good little schooly dolphin. I don't see any friends with him. Now we're just gonna flip him in and uh Uh, we're not going to flip him in. He got off right in the boat. <laughs> okay, we're going to get back to trolling. I got a big patch of seaweed over here. And I'm going to try pitching out. Well, the buck gel jig. Seeing if there's uh, anybody out here who wants to chase it up. Looks like I got a bunch of little bait fish following it. Which is good. Little Almaco Jacks. See what happens. Oh, and we got a dolphin. On the white bucktail jig, there we go. Always works. Oh, everybody's chasing him around. There we go. Good little, that shows you how that white bucktail jig works, man. Come around. Find you a wee patch. Like I said, we're 20 miles offshore, and I got other dolphins swimming around the boat right here. So, which is good because, you know, we lost the first dolphin, so we'll flip him in. We're gonna pitch him back out and see if we can get another one. Oh, and we got another one, there we go. Oh yeah. White bucktail jig's working today. Oh, he's taking off a little bit. Nothing like mahi mahi on the white bucktail jig. You gotta love it. Little schoolies. Here he goes, taking off. Doing it for like his last one. Whoa, nice little jump. I guess we're showing you how to find Mahi Mahi offshore today. All right, come on over here, buddy. Get on in the boat. There we go. Dolphin number two. All right, let me get back up trolling. See if we can find us another one. That was some nice excitement. All right. All right, so I just got back up trolling. I see a large mass of weeds out here. I actually see like a bigger piece of debris hanging out within the weeds. We're on the dolphin right now, which is great. So, and see if we can find some more of their friends. If we have to, we will, of course, you know, abandon the trolling lures to go right back to that bucktail jig because, you know, obviously that found them, you know, first cast. All right, we're up and trolling. We got our rigs out. Like I said, I'm heading towards this log. So we're trolling through some thick debris right now. Let's see if we can uh, find some fish. I know they're around here. We just got to see what they're going to bite and what they're going to take and, uh, you know, go with it from there. So this, this just shows you what's going on. You know, remember, we just hooked up with uh, another dolphin. On the no alibi trolling feather. We're getting a bunch of little schoolies today. But hey, no sense of complaining at all. Look at that. I mean, we're definitely going home.
home with dinner. And that's trolling with the no alibi trolling feather. All right, so since we're in the vicinity and we see lots of birds, I'm gonna try something I've never done before, which is dropping a slow pitch dig down on hovering birds. See if there's something way down there, way down deep. See if we can find that hookup. Never know. Slow pitch jig is uh, great. So what we got is a uh, 300 gram jig. We're gonna kind of ease on over to where these birds are and uh, see if there's something way down deep. Our birds are right here. We're gonna drop down. Try and keep vertical presentation. We're not gonna get to the bottom, I know that. But we got birds, so we're gonna see what happens. Drop down several hundred feet until you can't stand it no more. All right. I got down about three or four hundred feet. I'm gonna start jigging and uh, see what happens. Just got hooked up. Oh yeah, there we go. Somebody just took it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nope. Missed. Oh crap! The giant white tip shark start on the damn boat. Look at This is how you got to do your little bit of exploration. Put on that brave cap, head offshore, go and find those fish. So I want to talk a little bit about trolling for dolphin and sometimes how you got to make sense of going with the stream. The stream is always flowing north. So if you're going south, you're going against the stream, which means your bait, which you are simulating, is going against the stream. I just saw another little dolphin jump up here about 50 yards away. Pardon me for the interruption. Anyway, you're trolling north. You're going with the stream. Your bait is going with the stream, which looks more natural than heading south and going against the stream. Sometimes dolphins are tuned into that. And they won't hit your bait if you're heading south. Go north. Check it out. See if you can get into that bite. It looks more natural. Granted, you might be heading further away from port, but you know, if you're looking to get into that bite, that's what you gotta do sometimes. Yeah, I up again. All right. Might be an Almaco Jack. I don't see him flipping around. Definitely, he's way too short. But oh, man, nice. Another dolphin on the no alibi white trolling feather. This guy's tiny, so, you know, hey. We're gonna let him live. In about six more months, he'll be ready to uh, be. All right, there you go, buddy. All right, so let me explain what happened. We went out today with all intents and purposes of heading way offshore and trolling the no alibi white feather trolling lure. We got out there and conditions were great. 
yet when we started trolling, the weeds started scattering around our main weed line. So what I'm getting at is that when you head offshore and you've got intentions, and you've got a game plan, you've got to be willing to sort of bend a little bit. We saw our conditions, we said, hey, let's give this a try, and we got into the hookup. We headed way out, 20 miles offshore. Excellent day. Had many hookups. Saw an awesome white tip shark way out deep while we were pitching out the jig. And what makes this trip much more special is that we're going home with dinner. All right, folks, so that about does it for this episode. Hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed. And I hope you learned a little bit about not only trolling the no alibi white trolling feather and pitching out the white bucktail jig to catch mahi, but what it takes to really persevere, get way offshore, put on that explorer's cap and say, hey, I'm going for it today. Get out there, find your target species, get into the bite so that you can bring home some food to the family. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.